I want to turn to Manuel Oliver. His son Joaquin was killed five years ago at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Uh, he's a gun safety advocate. He's a co-founder of Change the Ref. Uh, and Manuel, another story of you and me talking again after um, after a school shooting. Uh, I was there at Parkland. I was there at Sandy Hook. And I always thought it was true that we're going. This is going to stop. That that the country is inflamed about it. And and frankly, after Parkland and March for Our Lives, things really did change. Things, they, they moved the needle. Your son's death moved the needle. But the needle hasn't moved far enough. Uh, absolutely, I agree a hundred percent with the introduction that you just made. And uh, the needle has moved very little. Um, actually, I have the feeling that. Um, it, it, it went a little backwards during the last uh, month or probably a couple of years. So um, that means that we need to do more. I, I don't want to um, send in this interview that I'm that I'm going to quit uh, uh, what we do or, or, or we're just frustrated and, and there's nothing else we can do. This is a reason to do more and different things. So um, I invite everyone to be really offended this time. We had enough and, and you just heard it from our politicians. Washington is not going to fix it. And so then who's going to fix it? We have to fix it. What does that look like to you? Because after Parkland, uh, the young people, the survivors of that, uh, man, and, and, and their parents, people like you, you, you manifested that energy and you showed that there was that energy and you looked for candidates who would uh, run for office and do the right thing and you supported them and many of them got elected. And for the first time, it looked like the, the, the sensible gun reform movement was able to raise money and have political influence that, generally speaking, only the gun industry has had until now. So we've got something happening on the side of, of, of sensible gun reform. What does doing more mean right now? If our viewer is is offended tonight, which is the right word. You should be offended when another child dies at a school. What does doing the right thing look like? Doing the right thing is doing that every day until it stops. Doing the right thing is what we do. All the groups that are fighting against gun violence, we don't wait for a shooting to tell you what we think and what we must do, and we should ban assault weapons. No, this is a daily job. There were more, almost a million people on that march five years ago. Yep. Where are they now? Where are these celebrities today to prevent the shooting of tomorrow? It was five years ago this weekend, in fact. That's that's the amazing part about it. I, I have to ask you, Manuel, you and I have talked a lot, but how does this how is this different for you? When you hear the news, when I when I see it in, on my phone that there's been a school shooting, what what's different for you when you hear about these things? Well, I know I know what the pain is. Uh, you're 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 one of the lucky ones still still uh, I know exactly what those parents are feeling today I went through that and that's why so um, I'm desperate to let you understand that you need add on board we need to call for a national action here I'm calling for an educational strike I mean we need the teachers to stand with us and save their places of work and their kids and their students this is an urgent call, what I'm doing now, not a regular interview, so you can know how I feel. You don't want to feel how I feel. No. No, I can't imagine what that would feel like. But what strikes, generally speaking, someone strikes because they feel that someone else in their industry is doing something and that if they don't stand by them, the th same thing can happen to us. Clearly not enough Americans think that. Clearly, we, we, we look at these school shootings and we think it's horrible. We know that our kids go through active shooter drills, but we somehow don't think it's going to be us.